Hey, Eli here. I've got a super quick review for you today on the small rig battery. It's an alternative to the Canon battery for the mirrorless system, the R5, R6, II, R6. And uh, yeah, it popped into my inbox a few weeks ago and I said, that's a pretty good deal. It's half the price, $40 versus $80. It's got a USB-C charging port on it and it has 2,400 milliamp hours versus 2,130 milliamp hours. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Um, ordered it, popped it in my camera for a wedding and knew I was gonna try and keep track of it. And so here are the results that I got. I got 50% of the clicks just about uh, the Mycana battery. So at 7%, the small rig battery had 1,197 clicks and at 9%, the Canon battery had 2,236 clicks. And that's on the same system, same camera. I had an R5 with the 28 to 70 on it. And yeah, so those are my results. I just want to share them with you. Uh, it's not worth it for me to have to change my battery twice as much. I'm pretty well invested in the Canon batteries. I've got, I think, seven now, so $560 worth. Um, it's a lot of money to spend on batteries, but uh, when I go to a wedding, I don't want to come up short or run out of juice. And I have three cameras that uh, can use Canon batteries. And so, yeah, anyway, that's my results with the small rig system. It's unfortunate. I love small rig products, but I don't know. There's some sort of magic going on in these cameras that just don't allow third party batteries to work well. So let me know in the comments if you've had positive results uh, or similar results with uh, small rig or other third party batteries in any of your mirrorless systems.